Hello, everybody, and welcome back to our February 2020 episode of Watch Out. I'm your host, Drew Pizzullo, and I want to talk to you about a different aspect of watches this month. Uh, throughout my time doing watch episodes, both on uh, my other channel, It's About Time with Jared, and uh, on this one so far, we've gone into a lot of detail and a lot of uh, in-depth on how to buy watches, on how to review watches, on how to sell watches, and we've touched on how to repair watches a little bit, but there's a different aspect uh, that I want to go over today on how to polish watches, kind of be like your own repairman and what you can do, the limits on what you can do to both polish a watch so you don't have to bring them to a watchmaker to get polished and spend $100, $150 to make them uh, get out a couple scratches that really annoy you. Because if you're anal like me in any way, you want your watches looking as nice as possible. And what's the most common thing that happens to watches? They get scratched up. Especially if you're dealing with uh, watches that involve stainless steel or gold. So um, there's a couple of different avenues we're going to go over uh, on what you can do to actually do it yourself. In this case, polishing. So let's go over what polishing actually is. It actually is removing scratches or nicks from the watch by really taking a layer of steel or gold uh, or silver in that aspect off the watch and um, so you're actually thinning it down uh, by a layer by polishing it with uh, a, a variety of different types of surfaces. The thing that you can most that anybody can basically do is go out and buy a polisher. There are two types of polishers. There is what's called the workman's desk uh, top polisher which looks more like a machine that you would see at uh, a jewelry store. Um, I know I've, I've been to my man Sergio in uh, New York who has a desktop polisher in like fast fix type locations you'll see them and they're able, those are the heavy duty type polishers. And then there's more of the in-home polishers and that really includes what we like to call a Dremel. And a Dremel you can get basically anywhere. You can get them at Walmart, you can get them at Home Depot, you can get them at Lowe's, you can get them at Target. You know, they all have them. Dremels range anywhere between $39.95 to $100 bucks based on the size of them. In this case, we're just dealing with the smallest size Dremel. And in any type of Dremel, you'll have two different things. Um, most Dremels do come with a starter kit. And what is involved in the starter kit uh, are three different types of things. And the first thing you will see when you open up the starter kit with a Dremel is what we like to call the etching tools, okay, which look like this. I'll show you a couple of these suckers right here, okay. And these are different etching tools that you attach to the Dremel if you're working with wood or different types of surfaces that need etching. That is not what we're uh, going for obviously in this episode and this is another type uh, for it almost looks like a, a uh, stainless steel saw that actually goes and engraves things as well so this is the first half of the other uh, thing it's also the second part of what you will receive in the sample package is the sanders again these are for sanding so you have uh, the different types of wheel right here small wheels for sanding and what they do is give you quite a few of them this way you don't run out right away and the third part which we will be focusing our attention on today is the polishers okay these are the polishing wheels uh, they they come both big and small and you can use either one you like uh, right for this instance we're going to use the small one since it's a small watch we're going to be working on a little bit today just to do the demonstration and what you basically do is you take a big or small polishing um, segment that they give you right here, the little polishing wheel, which is made of um, more like a cloth that as you do the polishing, 
it you'll see the um, the fabric kind of like go up in the air. It actually you know um, polishes it out. Uh, it will get smaller as you keep on polishing it, and so it, it kind of like whisks away. Uh, and the tool that you do want to use uh, that they give you for polishing is right here. It look almost looks like a screwdriver. Okay, so you can see that tool right here. And that is a very, very, uh, it will actually fit in the Dremel, which I'll show you in a second. But what you basically do is you take the polishing wheel, the fabric polishing wheel, and you screw it in to the screw that they give you. Okay, so it looks like so. You then take your Dremel and you attach the screw into the Dremel. Now, what's kind of tricky is uh, you have to turn it uh, counterclockwise so it gets tighter and then you can turn it clockwise for it to get loose. Uh, people don't really realize that as they're doing it, um, but you can loosen or tighten um, just like you can with uh, some type of watch parts as well. Uh, so it does work the same for a Dremel. So there we have our polishing wheel on the Dremel. And what they usually recommend for polishing watches is it comes on a theory of this Dremel has settings up to five. They recommend for polishing settings three or four. So now that you have your Dremel and your polishing wheel all set up, you have to actually use the polish. The polish comes, they also give you this in the starter pack, and this is the polish. It um, kind of looks like, like a putty or a sand, a hard sand. Um, and what you basically do is you open it up, and you actually just rub the entire wheel with the polish on it. So you can get it all nice and, it's almost like a maroon color. Okay, so it's all ready to polish the watch. This is done on purpose. So you put that down, and today we're just going to be polishing a ladies' ESQ watch. It does have quite a few scratches on it already. Uh, so, but it, and most times when you're polishing, you're either going to be polishing the band or you're going to be polishing the face. In this case, we're going to be polishing the face first, and then we'll go to the band. So, in most Dremels, they have the on-off switch right up top to make it pretty easy for you. And when you turn it on, here you go. And you just apply it to the actual watch itself. Okay, don't worry as you're polishing it if um, it slips a little bit and hits your hand. Again, the polishing wheel is made of cloth. It's really not going to hurt you too much. It just, you know, tickles a little bit. And that's what it's made to do. But yeah, we are, I am seeing the pieces of this thing fly off right in front of me. It's supposed to. You're, you're taking a layer of stainless steel off of the watch. So you do expect that to happen the more you polish it out. And it's great for polishing out regular scratches. And it won't leave uh, any marks because it's going at such a high rate. It's not even going to damage the glass. That's the beauty of using a, a Dremel polisher. So as I'm finishing this up right now, I am seeing that indeed now it'll take off the light scratches. It will take off pretty much light scratches or nicks. It will not get braces. Shut up. Um, it won't take out any heavy scratches or um, big dents in a watch because it's not powerful enough. You probably need that desktop polisher I was talking about previously. Um, but basically, you'll get out the light scratches that you would normally get from everyday wear and use. And I will turn this off now and I'll show you how this sucker looks. It looks pretty damn good if I do say so myself. And there you go, there is your watch Okay, head right now it's all polished. It does get it nice and shiny for you because watches do get dull over time um, based on especially stainless steel when you wear you get a lot of wear and tear on stainless steel watches. But basically if you want to do a polishing um, set to any of your watches 
the most simplest thing to do is to go out and buy a Dremel. Again, it costs you anywhere between $39.99 to $99.99, depending on the size of the Dremel. It does come with its own polishing kit. You can buy additional polishing kits that have more sizes and more inventory of polishers, sanders, and etching tools. Uh, you don't need it. I'll tell you that right now. You just need the starter kit, especially if you're doing um, just a couple of watches that you want to get scratches out of for the time being. But that's the easiest way to polish your watches to make them look like new to save you money from going to the jewelry store and having them do it and either taking a day to two weeks to get that done for you to make them look like new. Again, guys, thanks for joining me. Please like to subscribe uh, to the videos. Give me any suggestions you want on future episodes. And I look forward to seeing you next month on another episode of Watch Out.